Hey everyone, Jason here. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a fun little video showing this particle accelerator in action. If you missed it, you can find it on my channel or you can click over here somewhere. I also put a link to it down in the description. Since then, I've received a lot of questions about it, so I thought I would answer some of them now, show you how it works, and maybe we'll have a little more fun with it. A lot of people suggested that I submit it to LEGO Ideas. So if you'd like to see something like this become an official LEGO set, be sure to head on over there and support it. It's really easy to do and I would certainly appreciate it. I have added a direct link to the project in the description as well. I've also put together building instructions for the basic ring and the accelerator, which I will show you in a second. But before I show you how it all works, Grant Davis posted this question in the comments. Can it house two balls at the same time? I would like to see that. I like the way you think, Grant. I've had a handful of balls ready and waiting to go, so let's see what it can do. So I have about 10 balls here. I'll see if I can get them all running at once. I have to introduce them at about half speed, because otherwise they go around too fast to get them to get any more in. Uh, but once they're all on the track, I'll amp it up to full speed and we'll see what happens. Now let's see what really happens when I insert the brick. So how does it all work? Here is the basic ring and the accelerator module. For the ring I'm using these curved rails from the old 4.5 volt LEGO train system. Now LEGO doesn't produce these anymore but they are actually available on the aftermarket and aren't actually too expensive these days. The accelerator is extremely simple. It consists of a pair of wheels, one that spins freely. The other one is geared up from the motor through a simple set of gears, which causes it to spin extremely fast. As the ball comes around the ring and passes between the two wheels, it is spit out with a high enough speed to make it all the way around the ring again. So let's see that in action. As I said, I have created building instructions for this basic setup, which you can find on my website at jkbrickworks.com. I'll put a link in the description and at the end of the video. It'll work on any flat surface and obviously you can decorate it as you see fit. Of course, the easiest way to get your hands on one of these would be if LEGO designed an actual set out of it. So if you'd like to see that happen, don't forget to add your support on LEGO Ideas. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.